Okay, hear me out. The reason why I wanted to talk about this now and why I didn't do it in February is because there were too many Wi-Fi issues going on. Also, there were too many new video ideas coming my way at the time. But now I'm here and I'm gonna talk about it. If you already don't know who Brent Rivera is, this is him. I knew who Brent Rivera was when Vine was a thing in 2013, but I joined in 2014 because I didn't have a phone at the time. So yeah, Brent Rivera was one of those Vine creators who would make funny skits at the time before he transitioned to YouTube. But now, since he has transitioned to YouTube, things have gotten a bit worse for him in the last couple of years. And now there is a brawl between him and Tyler Oliveira. Keep in mind that this happened in January this year. And so the first video I want to bring up to you is, well, essentially Brent Rivera's video, TikTok video of where he addresses what happened on his side of the story when he accuses Tyler Oliveira of saying awful things about him. Instead of doing the smartest thing of all, just by not saying anything and walk away. If you've recently saw a viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway, well, one of those YouTubers was me. Things quickly get taken out of context, so here's the full picture. Also, this isn't me defending the things that I said, but more so giving you guys my perspective of what happened that night. So right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. And I'm not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. Well, Brent Rivera, I have a question for you. Why would you make a fake prank in the first place? We were just minding our own business and filming a video, so this was really frustrating given the amount of time, energy, and money we put into these videos to make great content for you guys. And as the night went on, he continued to approach us with his camera, saying awful things about me, my friends, and my sister to try and get a rise out of me for his video. Why not just be honest with Tyler and just say it is all fake. All Tyler was doing was asking you a very simple question because you tend to do that a lot. Yeah. At a certain point, it bubbled up so much that I did what he wanted. I stooped down to his level and I said something that I should not have said. Don't have fun with your hundreds of tracks, but... See, this is what I don't understand. Why lash out over somebody who's asking you a very important question? by being childish and say that he has less subscribers than you. Later on, he came up and started filming again, this time while we were on a tour. His actions toward us and other guests on the tour caused the hotel staff, not me, to call security. Maybe it's because he was the one that booked this hotel first and you just came out of nowhere to where he is. He was warned several times by the hotel staff to not only leave us, but other guests and hotel staff alone. And after several warnings, the hotel chose to call the police to get him escorted from the hotel. Anyways, I am not proud of the way that I reacted at all, nor am I perfect. All I can do is be real with you guys and admit that I could have handled it by not saying anything and just walking away. I mean, listen, I'm just puzzled as to why you didn't mention that you booked a hotel room here. Were you trespassing, Brent? Now I saw this clip for from Tyler Oliveira, which happened right before Brent Rivera came to his defense. That's Brent Rivera calling security and then the cops on me after I asked him this. Do you fake your videos? No. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. So I walked across the hallway only to find... What is your name? Don't. Brent. Brent. Last name? Rivera. Do you fake your videos? No. Do you fake your videos? No. 
And then after, on our way to our hotel tour, I ran into them again. Brent Rivera's right there. We get that louder. We're filming our thing, you yeah. film yours. Why did you walk up to us? Yeah. Are you really sure my life is Ava? Are you really sure you want to defend Brent Rivera and say, uh, Tyler walked up to you? Are you sure you want to say that? Because something's not right here, and somebody isn't telling the whole truth of what really happened. But I'll keep going. Like, enter our space. It's paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, if we were normal guests, that would be. Whoa, awesome. whoa, whoa. Okay. Normal guests? Yeah. If they were actually normal guests, then how much money did they actually pay to actually stay here? long term because it doesn't look like they were but i digress you think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being you've ascended the human uh, wait who are you the night is it true you kissed your sister brent after begging for the almighty brent to forgive me he called the cops and we were escorted out of the hotel i think it was selfish of brent rivera to call the cops on somebody who nearly pays like over $400 to book a hotel room here where he stayed at. And speaking of somebody, this is Tyler Oliveira. He uploaded this video on February 6, which is where the altercation started when Brent Rivera himself completely acts like a tool and Tyler Oliveira, the one that was mentioned on Brent's side of, of the story, came out with his own statement on the issue. And Tyler uh, exposes Brent by saying that they were having a sleep in their hotel rooms. He and his cameraman goes to the hallway to see the two girls that Brent Rivera placed in the middle of the hallway. And he also says that Brent Rivera didn't rent the hotel room. If you recently saw a viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway, well, one of those YouTubers was me. Things quickly get taken out of context, so here's the full picture. Brent, you're a liar. Here are the receipts. Also, I'm on the toilet, so I'll be quick. Lie number one. Right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. And no, we were half asleep in our hotel rooms. My cameraman gets up, goes into the hallway, only to see these two ghost girls right outside our rooms. Keep in mind, Brent places these girls on the opposite side of the hotel room floor we apparently share. We easily could have avoided each other if you did not place your prank right outside our two hotel rooms on the opposite side of the hotel floor we both were staying on. Two. This guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. And I'm no one yelled at you or accused you of anything. I simply walked up to you, asked you if you knew the two girls who were at the end of the hallway. You denied knowing them completely. I walked up to them, asked them if they knew you. They were like, maybe. Okay, anyways, so I walked up to you and then you said, do you fake your videos? No, do you fake your videos? <laughs> no. Three. Not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. We this prank is obviously fake. We just hire these people. We don't know who those people are. Oh my god. What? I think people think it's funny because you won't admit you're faking the videos when it's very obvious you are. Four. We were just minding our own business and filming a video. No, you were in the hallway immediately adjacent to our rooms, where coincidentally we were also filming a ghost video, location four of seven, right here. You could have rented the place out, but you didn't. So when I walked out of my room, I walked into your prank. Five. It's really frustrating given the amount of time, energy, and money we put into these videos to make great content. We lost about $4,000 in flights, hotel rooms, and car rentals after you got us kicked out. So, and you're Forbes 30 under 30. So this hurts me a lot more than it should hurt you, I imagine. So. Oh, Brent, it looks like Tyler was the one who given the time, energy, and money into his videos. All you did was disturb his lovely time in the hotel. Also trespassing. Six. To these videos to make great content for you guys. And as a you don't make great content. You sexualize your friends and your sister for views in these weird love triangles. Look at this video. Easy. 
I always get weirded out by creators who make these types of content. Like, why not sticking to the comedic skits that you used to do on Vine instead of, like, changing it to be like every other generic YouTuber that makes that type of overdone and dry type of content? I didn't upload that. You did, bro. There's a lot of unusual sexualization of your sister in thumbnails and in videos to drive viewership from a young audience. Seven. He continued to approach us with his camera, saying awful things about me, my friends, and my sister. The only thing I ever asked was, is it true you kissed your sister? Everything else was the comment section blowing up. And then also in the full video I made of the situation, I did include the clip of Ava saying, you were the worst in bed. Worst influencer in bed award goes to... Oh. I'm gonna say Brent. Because he lacks experience. But that's also on her. I've let the audience decide how to feel about this. Nine. At a certain point, it bubbled up so much that I did what he wanted. I stooped down to his level and I said something that I should not have said. Lies. Brent has framed the situation as if him saying, go have fun with your 100 subscribers is the tipping point to all of this, where in actuality, this is the second time we meet. Right after we meet upstairs, as I'm walking to my tour, we see each other, I record, oh my God, it's Brent Rivera. And then he says, Hey, uh, go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers, right? This was not a bubbling over point or a tipping point. This was the second of three interactions we interact with one another. Later on, he came up and started filming again. This false. This is the exact same encounter in which you say, Go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers, right? There's not another encounter. This is me responding to you saying, Go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers, right? I walk up to you and then ask, Can you say that a little louder? There's not another interaction. This is interaction two of three. We only have three interactions before I get kicked out. This is the third time harassing us. 11. His actions toward us and other guests on the tour caused the hotel staff, not me, to call security. You literally called security on us nonstop. And in this clip, you say, You're gonna get us kicked out? You're not powerful? Did you guys finish your video? No. Oh, we're not gonna be able to finish it. Then. What do you mean? I'm sorry, they're gonna come and get, get you guys. They're gonna kick you out. Yeah, see, I find it weird on how Brent said that it caused the hotel staff to call security when they were not informed automatically. In fact, a hotel staff couldn't just automatically hear the commotion outside when they're not nearby. So, furthermore, no hotel staff were around here. It was just Brent and Tyler in the hallway having the interaction. Yeah. Without you calling security, we would not have gotten kicked out. If there were 12 of us like your crew, maybe that wouldn't have been the case. They chose the easier option of kicking us out versus you and your 10-man crew. In Brent's little reaction video, he plays with the chronology of events to justify his actions, but in actuality, we only interacted with one another three times. In this video I uploaded on my YouTube channel, to defend my case here, I show the beginning and end of all three interactions. If you don't believe me, just go watch it. Brent, if you want to settle this, we can hop in the boxing ring any day, or if you just want to apologize to me, you can hook me up on a date with your sister. Either of those two options work, my DMs are open. Yeah, imagine having to go through the many ways to smear Tyler Oliveira by simply changing the story. A commentary YouTuber that I used to watch all the time back in the day a couple of years ago is Dumpy. He's the one with this courage, the cowardly dog picture. And he's been a victim of a false copyright takedown back in February. Now, Dumpy made a video exposing Brent Rivera by simply talking about Brent Rivera's actions because of Brent Rivera's beef with Tyler Oliveira. After that, he made a video about Brent Rivera again because Brent Rivera did something illegal, which involves him wanting to do a false takedown of Dumpy's channel. Then when I watched his he messaged me video, I saw a particular comment and it was about Brent Rivera apologizing 
to Dumpy by sending him $400. To make up for the shitty mistake that he or his company pulled, there are some content creators like Lucy Ka who told Brent Rivera this. As nice of a gesture as this is, it doesn't really help what you did. At the end of the day, you nearly cost Dumpy his livelihood and live out the noise of the bigger careers. He could have been wiped out from YouTube and left about nothing. Who knows what other small careers this has happened to. I know my friend Riff has also had claims from me before, abusing the system and risking content creators. Source of income is insane. Yeah, I agree with him because you know, Brent really shouldn't have done any, any of that bullshit that he had pulled back in February. And surprisingly, Brent Nevada commented and agreed to it, saying that it's a start and that he acted emotionally to these types of videos and that he learned that this was not the way to handle things and he's working to retract the claim. And don't get me wrong, it's nice and all that, but uh, even though he gave Dumpy $400 that he took from Dumpy, he doesn't accept his apology because he took Dumpy's videos down 40 hours during that time that it occurred and that he willingly lied to YouTube for whatever of any reason to actually attempt to successfully take away someone's livelihood from them. And even though Brent Rivera doesn't expect Dumpy to forgive him, at least Brent Rivera finally chosen to own up to his own mistakes, as it is a step in the right direction. Nothing changed, because sometime later, in the beginning of the first week of next month, which is March, he got striked by YouTube. And I just knew that Dumpy was going to get striked eventually because we know how some content creators are these days when they falsely copy striked a video that is within fair use. And when it comes to fair use content, it explicitly says, in the United States, works of commentary, criticism, research, teaching, or news reporting may be considered fair use because the work is fair use if it has a transformative purpose to parody, criticize, or comment on the original work. And clearly, Dumpy does. Dumpy was well within his right to criticize Brent Rivera's content and Brent Rivera should not have even taken down Dumpy's content in the first place. Had Brent Rivera not boasted his ego against Dumpy for simply criticizing Brent Rivera who is in the wrong when he intruded Tyler Oliveira's stay at the hotel by simply trespassing in a hotel that Brent Rivera had no business being in because he didn't book a room to, to actually stay at, then things would have been really fine for Brent Rivera. But since he ultimately lied about what he said, that he was going to do for Dumpy. He never, ever kept his word. And when you say, I'm going to talk to you to see what I can do to make things right, leave your channel copyright claims and strikes, you never did any of that. And you left Dumpy right into a corner. 
a corner where he cannot escape. And if you really want to make things right, Brent, then you need to go back to the old content that you used to do on Vine and you need to stop faking your videos and stop letting your ego get the best of you because the Brent Rivera that I used to know back in the day would not be making that type of faking as content that everybody has seen on YouTube nowadays. And please make content that is way more original and not copied off of another YouTuber. Oh, and don't keep sexualizing your sister like that. It is uncomfortable for people to watch. Thank you.